Oh, we're back. Sorry about that. I was just, I had to stop the video. Okay. By pressing the start button, you can access the in-game menu from the in-game, uh, from the in-game menu. You can save your progress by selecting the quick save or save game options. Let me form a quick save here. Okay, now the quick save option is, it makes, oh, sorry. It, it's good for PCs, I mean, here's the problem though. If you say, and I, this actually happened to me in the first game, I have, for some reason, I quick saved right after I killed somebody in a mission you weren't supposed to kill anybody. So what happened was, I kept on, whenever I did a quick, a quick load, I had to go back, I kept on going to that same, that, to basically the mission ending. So, I had to restart the whole entire mission from the beginning. And, Unfortunately, it, the quick save has this, oh, while you're holding a horizontal pipe, with your legs, press R2 to hang by your legs and draw your weapon. Oh, look at that. I just did that. Yeah, so, the quick save has its, it has its, uh, positive and its negative. While hanging from a pipe beam or light, press circle to drop down. Okay. The objective bar at the bottom of your pod keeps you informed of your current objectives. Infiltrate the enemy. You got it. Yes, we know that already. Go away. One. Other. Okay. Yes, we get it. Oh, oh. The void being surprised. Use the optic cable to check the room before entering. Okay. Sorry, from the. Okay. Optic cable. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, you really feel almost like a, like a silent, a, it's not assassin, but you know, secret agent or whatever. Okay. Slowly sneak in to this door. Oop, door's closed. Oop. Oop. You can pick a lock using a lock pick in front of the door. Press X and select lock pick to in the interaction window to begin picking the lock. Okay, let's first optic cable this. There's no one there. Looks safe. No. No. Lock pick. Oh, so it's basically it's basically the same thing. You just gotta jiggle the left analog stick. Uh like if this one, you, you just gotta jiggle it, and you know, eventually find the right uh, find the right angle, and then just keep on jiggling, one, one, there, and uh, it unlocks. Find pipe or beam, so they move uh, move or jump towards it. Okay. So you equip your night vision goggles, press the left button. To return to normal vision, press the left button again. Ah. Right button is uh, thermal vision, left is night vision. Um. Okay. Let's see. Where do we go to now? Over here? Oh, no. Oh, shit. Okay. So just slowly... Oh. Before you infiltrate the embassy, let me reintroduce D.P. Brunton, our interagency consultant. He's got an update for the mission. I'll keep it brief. I'm sure you know I'm excited to be part of the team. The Joint Chiefs want this mission kept non-lethal and alarms at flat zero. We can't endanger the hostages. Understood. And with some due respect, leave anything Lambert can say to Lambert. I don't want the voices in my head to become a crowd. Get inside the embassy. The situation is delicate and largely unknown. So walk softly. Allstate commercial. Okay, so we got another message. Uh, said we had a... Oh. No. Come on. 
Case file on DP Vernon, yada yada yada. Master's degree at Harvard. You, why the fuck am I reading? Civilian boot camp for the full time employee of the Uh. Okay, we don't need to do that shit. Okay. So yeah, at the, uh, I didn't realize the uh, first game was, was kind of difficult. Uh, what are, I remember there were times where I didn't know that I was in the light, but apparently, but my thing, they still saw, when I was in the dark, but they still saw me, apparently. Um, it's probably a product of the fact that it's an older game, and you know, older games are just much more difficult, but I don't remember that, this one being, uh, as difficult as the first one. Uh, but I still like the first one. Uh, the crouch, press circle on the right. Crouch will make much more noise when crouching, moving slowly. Oh, by the way, um, by the before, when you get the wall, you press the analog stick with that. Okay, what the? F oh my god. Okay, sorry that that email thing was bothering me. Okay. See, I'm a big fan of the series. I actually haven't played Conviction, which is the latest one. I think it's the fifth one. I've played the first, second, and third, uh, all on the PC. Double Agent. I started playing the PC. I actually had to get a new video card just for it because it, I forgot what, what exactly what, what, uh, how many, uh, what the speed it needed to be or whatever it was, but it needed... It apparently need a, a high memory card, and I was, I heard that, I heard it got great reviews, but also was very buggy. I didn't encounter any bugs of it, but um, I did have fun with it. Uh, unfortunately, I stopped about like maybe a third of the way through just because I got distracted by other things. That tends to happen to me in PC games, um, which is why I stick to console for those games because I tend to. Oh. Okay, so as opposed to the first one, this one actually has checkpoints. Um, you see, you see, uh, the first one, the first game had checkpoints, but that's only, there would be a mission, we got some ammo here, okay, good, weapon 40, 60, uh, your mission, you would finish your mission, uh, there would be the entire mission, and then it would be broken up into sequences, right after you finish up the sequence, it would auto-save, it doesn't seem to be the case with this one, put your back to the wall, face the wall, and press the LP button, you'll peek when you reach, reach near a corner. Okay. Nope. Okay, so well, this also was a problem in the first game. Apparently, you can't crouch. You can't do that to something like this while you're crouched, but you can do it while standing. Which I think is pretty stupid. When you're peeking uh, at an open door of a small car, press X to perform a SWAT turn. SWAT turn. You'll need to shoot the light out to pass unnoticed from back to wall. Go, from back to wall, go to... What the... Okay. From back to wall, go to the peaking position by moving towards the edge of the wall. Press R2 button to draw the pistol when equipped uh, with a weapon. Press R1 button to shoot. Okay, so it wants to shoot out this light. Hold on, I just want to get rid of this email because okay, it's freaking annoying me. Okay, so I approach your point by from uh, press X to grab him. Ah! How do you like that, motherfucker? Now. Something funny, uh, well, and actually, was it up to here? Um, might have been here. Let me just check that. I remember that I did from the first game. I kept on failing the mission. I wasn't, didn't know why. Oops. Oh, your femoral vision god, simply press the right button. Simply. Oh, shit. Uh, those blinking things are landmines. Well, let me just knock out this. Put them off. Now, also another thing, you gotta actually put them in places where they will not be seen. They're in darkness. 
And then the first game, you left bodies in the light. Um, you could, uh, the alarm would go off at some point, and you could fail a mission, or, you know, you obviously lose one alarm, and then you have two more chances to not set up one. Anyway, just not this guy. Ooh. I think, does this one have a kill button? Or is that this chaos theory, which I'll also be playing? You know, Sam, don't come. Okay, here we go. Yeah, those are the landmines. Yeah, you don't want to touch those or you'll get fucked up. Hold on, maybe I'm just going to do a quick save. Yeah, in the first game also, you had the... There was a mission where uh, they put landmines and... Uh, around, you had to use your night vision as well. They didn't blink, blink as frequently as this, uh, this one. I think they want me to jump up here? Yep. Uh, but yeah, the first game of overall is very fun. I like it a lot. Um, well, I'm hanging from a pipe for being probably right now. Uh, I'm a big Metal Gear Solid fan, and one of the things I, uh, I find Splinter Cell is different is that, see, Metal Gear Solid, you can actually, you don't have to play the game as a stealth game. You can just go around and kill everybody if you want. It's not recommended that you do that, but you can. Uh, and some missions here, you can't kill. In the first game, you can't kill people. Uh, you can't be seen. No alarms can be set off. Okay, well, hold on. Let's go. Um, let's go. Yes. Okay. Oops, no, that doesn't. Um, okay, yeah. But they want to go through here. When I now pass it, you can perform a, a, a split jump by staying next to a wall and pressing triangle. At the top of the jump, press triangle again to complete the maneuver. Okay, here we go. Form up. From a half foot, you can reach a position above yourself. Uh, place a higher position by moving left to right, then press triangle to reach it. Uh, from a half foot, you can reach a position above yourself. Place a higher position. Okay, that was kind of cool. Okay. Sorry, just checking my timer. The graphics overall look pretty good. I know a lot of the reviews said that, oh, they didn't really do that much of an HD remix, but apparently they put, they poured the PC version, which, you know, actually when they load, um, you know, which probably, you know, that has the best graphics, but at the time, you know, PC games weren't, weren't that exactly, you know, Good looking. Well, like, they were. They had their flaws. Uh, could get a lot of flame for the PC gamers for that. Okay, save it. Okay. Yeah, this is by Naka. Is press R three button. Oops. We almost found you a back door. Avoid the main gate at all cost. Blueprints show an ornamental stream running beneath the entrance. Looks like a viable way in. A little wet's better than a little dead. That streams your way in, even if it means moving slowly to minimize your noise level. Fisher, be careful. This village is a walk in the park compared to what needs to be done inside the embassy. Okay, well, hold on. I'm going to stop the video.